dearly beloved loving greetings to you in the name of Jesus if you happen to visit the sea of galilee you can go for a boat ride they will take you in a boat for around an hour look there our team members who came with us are getting ready to go for a boat ride once in an hour a boat takes people for a ride you can travel in the sea as you sing praise god and pray it will be a great experience it's a great joy for me to speak to you from this sea show where jesus did his ministry even today i want to remind you a particular word that jesus spoke and it's found in matthew chapter 5 and verse 9 Blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called sons of God. So this verse talks about the peacemakers. Peacemakers are termed blessed. So those who spoil peace must be termed as cursed. Know this well. If peacemakers are termed as blessed then those who spoil peace must be termed as cursed. So after knowing this you must be very careful to make peace and not to spoil peace. Peacemakers are only called the sons of God. They can only call themselves as children or sons of God. So those who spoil peace becomes the sons of devil. Doesn't it mean so? You must be very careful. Some people in your home and among your relatives will always intend to spoil peace. They used to backbite or say something to spoil the peace between the husband and wife or among her relatives. The Bible warns that such people are termed as sons of devil and cursed. We should never do that mistake. We should never spoil peace at home. In our churches also there will be some people to spoil peace always. They become cursed and work on behalf of the devil. As far as possible we must make peace if there is lack of peace somewhere we must call them and speak with them and advise them to make peace we must make peace in our families churches and workplace some people in our workplace will always be found with the intention of spoiling peace some may even spoil good relationships by backbiting and telling lies they are cursed and will be called the sons of devil even in the society that will live and in our neighborhood there will always be some people who don't have any other work than spoiling peace they will go from house to house and call others over phone just to spoil peace and good relationships they are cursed as they work for the devil on the other hand blessed are the peacemakers and they are called the sons of god as far as possible take efforts to make peace if two people are having problem in their relationship or friendship then talk to them and just pray for them help them to reconcile with each other we must always be peacekeepers and never be spoilers of peace so even today pray like this dear lord help me to be a peacemaker these two people are not in peace help me to make peace between them the lord will give you grace to do that then you will be a blessed person some people may never get reconciled but don't stop taking efforts to bring peace between them keep praying about it try as much as possible to make peace god will help you it's okay even if you fail in your efforts god will honor you god will see that you are really trying to make peace with a good intention and honor you these days We see there is lack of peace between couples how happy they will become if we could make peace between them it will be a great blessing have you ever done like that try doing it and see you will receive a great joy in your heart if only you could make peace between two people who were not in peace you will also have a great joy in your heart it's a joy given by god because those who make peace are blessed You will be blessed too. Tell the Lord today, dear Lord, let me never be the one who spoils peace. Help me take efforts to make peace. Use me to make peace in relationships and families. I commit myself for that and I pray this prayer in the name of Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.